Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind, bringing you a brand new video. And today I'll be giving you guys an overall impression of my trip to Canada and how it all went. Um, I gotta say, it really took me a while to figure out exactly how to give you an impression of what it was like without actually releasing any information that I'm not allowed to release yet. So, I'm just gonna talk about the trip. And when I do talk about the game, I won't be talking about specifics at all. Um, it's gonna be an overall assessment. Like, you know, this part was good, that part needed a little bit more work, you know, stuff like that. So, first things first, the studio. Boy, was I blown away. Uh, before we got there, some of the guys were talking about how amazing the place was, but you just can't understand how amazing it actually is until you step into the castle, because, I mean, that's pretty much exactly what it was. Um, Brian Hayes showed us around very briefly. Um, we got to see where the game development actually happens. And then he walked us into a conference room. And right there was EA Sports UFC 2 prepped and ready for us to play. Uh, we went over a few things with Brian very briefly. And then he just basically said, play the game for a few hours. If there's something you like, there's a gigantic whiteboard right there. Put it on the board. If there's something that you don't like, also put it on the board. And that's basically what we did. So uh, I picked up a controller. Uh, I was sitting right next to Zombie Rommel. I don't know if you guys know him. Um, he's also a YouTuber, and he was a pretty competitive player in EA Sports UFC 1. Also one of the game changers. Pretty brilliant guy. And uh, we decided to play a quick exhibition match to get a feel of how far the game has come. And let me tell you guys, man, I, I really was disappointed. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. The worst thing you can do right now is not watch the whole entire video. You need to relax and just listen. So as we were playing the game, um, everything just felt wrong. Um, nothing felt right. And I, I turned a zombie and I'm like, bro, like, please tell me this is not the same game you guys played the first time you got here. Because this, quite frankly, feels absolutely terrible. And um, he, he pretty much said, I, I guarantee this is not the same game we played. So obviously something was wrong. You know, something was definitely wrong with this build. So I got up, picked up a marker, and I wrote my impressions on the board because it just was not what I was expecting. Um, we played the game for a few more hours. And uh, after that, it was time to give our Im impressions. Um, every single game changer in the room pretty much said the same exact thing. Now, I'm not going to say exactly what we felt was wrong with the game at the time because, I don't know, I might get in trouble with EA or something. But we all got it. We all pretty much expressed our disappointment with how the game felt. Um, the developers looked at it and right away, almost instantaneously, they recognized that it was a bug. Okay, this is not how the game was intended to play. And there was some kind of bug preventing the game to play correctly. So, they went ahead and fixed it. When they were done fixing it, they gave us a brand new build, and ladies and gentlemen, this is where the fun began. Uh, we played the game again, and I was like, whew, finally. Now this game feels good. You know, we, we tested out every single aspect of the game. We tested out the ground game, and man, oh man, did they take it to a whole nother level. Now, I can't give specifics yet, but the ground game did not feel like anything we've ever seen before. You know, I didn't understand just how important it is to be able to transition freely without having to wait your turn. That is completely gone. You can start transitioning whenever you feel like it without having to wait for your opponent to complete his transition. Um, what it does is create a dynamic and realistic looking ground game. It, it felt good, it felt real, it felt authentic. Um, it really did. Um, the bottom guy had a lot of options so you don't feel like you're stuck and the dominant fighter also had enough options to maintain control if you knew what you were doing uh, of course it is a brand new game with a brand new game you need to put in a little bit of time to actually learn the controls and get good at what you want to do so uh, at first it wasn't too hard to get off the ground but i suspect that's going to change the more people learn to play the game uh, with time, you learn to play the game, and uh, if you want to be a dominant fighter on the ground, you will definitely be a dominant fighter on the ground. Um, the striking system felt good as well. Uh, this time around, uh, we have more defensive options, which I know was a big concern with a lot of people. Uh, strikes deal more damage. 
Uh, I was able to play in the aggressive style very effectively, and I was also able to play in a defensive style very effectively. Um, the game gives you more defensive options if you want to fight in that style. And oh my goodness, guys, the knockouts. The knockouts. Honestly, the whole entire time I was there, I don't think I saw the same knockout twice. Every single knockout that I saw felt different, unique, and absolutely brutal. Honestly, I, I feel like, I, I really feel like when this game drops, the knockouts alone will bring you joy. It, it is nothing like you, it, it's, it's nothing like ESports UFC 1, I guarantee it. Um, the clinch game felt great. Uh, I can't talk about specifics again, but it's it's completely different from eSports UFC 1. Uh, there were a few things here and there that raised concerns, but it, it really wasn't a big deal in my opinion. Um, the developers are very aware of those concerns, and they really listened to our suggestions. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, the fighters look great. They really did. Um, I know there were a lot of concerns about the Conor McGregor model that we saw in the trailer, and I can say... I can tell you guys right now, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, Conor McGregor looks great. He felt great, felt fast and powerful, and so did other fighters. Of course, the game is still a work in progress. There are some models that still need a little bit of work, but they look better than they did in eSports UFC 1. You can definitely see that there was a graphic, uh, a graphics upgrade. And the fighters that are supposed to look older, they do look older. Um, also, the roster... This time around is the largest roster in any mixed martial arts game ever made. Really, it, it really is huge. It's it's bigger than UFC Undisputed 3. Um, so you will definitely have more than enough fighters to choose from in every single weight class. Uh, overall, man, I mean, eSports UFC felt amazing. Uh, I thought I'd be able to play every single aspect of the game, but two days uh, two days just was not enough uh, i got to play the knockout mode against brian hayes and it was so much fun i can't imagine how anyone would not love that mode uh, we were knocking each other senseless left and right it, it, it was just glorious um i also played the ultimate team mode and the, the funny thing is this was actually my very first time playing uh, this mode in any game ever and for my first time, I had a lot of fun. I mean, I had so much fun playing the Ultimate Team mode. I'll definitely be bringing that to this channel when the game drops. Um, I did not play the Career mode, and this was on purpose. Um, I know, I know, how could I? But part of it, honestly, is I'm trying to save it, okay? I've seen every aspect of the game so far, but I really want to save Career mode. Um, I don't want to spoil it for myself. Um, I want the first time that I play it to be the very first time that I bring it to this channel. Um, that way, it's all brand new to me, and I can experience it the same exact way you guys would. Um, so that's why I stayed away from it. So, I, you know, I don't want to play it while I'm there, and then when I play it again, not feel as excited and pumped up for it. So I stayed away from that, but I did create a fighter. Um, I can't go into detail, of course, but just... Wait until you see what you'll be able to do with your creative fighter. I really, I really do think your minds will be blown. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the one thing that really impressed me was how eager, how eager these developers were to get feedback from us. I mean, I really was shocked at that. I mean, they were all there behind us, around us, with their little notepads, taking notes. Uh, every single concern that we wrote on the board, they really, they really looked at them. It just, it felt like a team that really really wanted to make this game better that's really what it felt like um by the end of the first day uh, there were a lot of things we didn't really like and we all wrote them on the board you know we, we wrote them there and made it clear and by the second day when we came back into the studio and played the game a vast majority of our suggestions were already implemented in the game it, it really blew my mind at how quickly they did it and uh, we got to play a brand new build which felt 10 times better than the one we played the previous day that's how eager they are to make changes and take suggestions we played a much better game the second day, all because of it. Now, when it's all said and done, the game that ships is going to be completely up to them. Okay, all we can do is make suggestions and give feedback, but they will always do what they want to do. Now, I'm saying that to give you realistic expectations, okay? We're not developers. Um, we did not make the game. All we do is offer suggestions. That's it. 
But like I said, overall, I really, really enjoyed the game. It truly felt different. Um, there was a lot of innovation. That's the good part. A lot of innovation. A lot of brand new animations. A lot of fighter-specific animations, especially uh, during the fighter celebration. Just wait till you see some of these. Um, a lot of brand new fighters, you know, and, and so much more that I can't say right now, but definitely in due time. But that's pretty much it for my first impression. This was not going to be a long video because I can't say much. Um, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. If it's a question that I can answer, I most definitely will. If I can't, I'll tell you that I can't. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions. Um, the second, the very second we are allowed to spill the beans, I will make another video and I will tell you guys every single thing you need to know. But um, until then... Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and be safe.